My Bones. Written by Rachel Rice. Illustrated by Matthew Vimislick. Focus question. Why are bones amazing? Do I fear skeletons? No, skeletons are amazing. I have one inside me right now. My skeleton is made of all the bones in my body. My skeleton has 206 bones. The smallest bone is in my ear. The largest bone is in my leg. Human bones can be grouped into four shapes. My bones are long, short, flat, or irregular. My leg and arm bones are long. The bones in my ankles are short. My shoulder and skull bones are flat. The bones in my back are irregular. My bones help support and protect me. I can stand because of my bones. My bones give my body shape. My bones also protect my soft parts, such as my lungs and brain. Joints connect my bones to each other. A few joints, such as those in my skull, don't move. Most joints help me bend, turn, or grab. Bones are living parts of my body. I eat well and play to take care of my bones. I need my bones to be strong. I am not afraid of skeletons. Skeletons are made of amazing bones. Connections Writing and art Draw a picture of yourself with bones and without bones. Then write about why bones are an important part of your body. Science your bones help support and protect you. Name another part of your body that helps support and protect you. Share your ideas with a partner. My Brain Written by Rachel Rice Illustrated by Kelly Kennedy Focus Question how does the brain work as the boss of your body? My body has many systems that keep it alive. The boss of all those body systems is my brain. My brain helps me listen, think, and speak. It helps me see, touch, taste, and smell. It helps me laugh when I'm happy or cry when I'm sad. My brain helps me eat. It also keeps my heart beating and my lungs breathing. My brain works hard as the boss of my body. It sits in my skull and works all the time. My brain uses my nervous system to do much of its job. My nervous system passes messages between my body and my brain. It passes messages using a highway of nerves. Nerves can be found all over my whole body. 
Here's how my nerves and brain send messages in a game of tag. A friend tags my arm to make me it. Nerves in my arm send a message to my brain. My brain sends a message to my legs to run. I run after my friend to tag her back. It takes almost no time for me to feel the tag and start running. My brain and nerves send messages to each other very fast. Messages can go up to five times faster than cars on a highway. My brain works for me all the time. It works even when I sleep. My brain is the hard-working boss of all of my body's systems. My body couldn't do anything without it. Connections Writing and art Write an article about the brain for a school newspaper. Include facts from this book and a picture. Science Choose an activity you like to do. How does the brain help you with this activity? Share your ideas with a partner. My Heart Written by Rachel Rice Illustrated by Meryl Rainey Focus Question Why is your heart an important part of your body? My doctor checks to see if my heart sounds healthy. She listens to my heart, and I stay quiet and still. She hears the healthy sound, lub-dub, lub-dub. My heart needs to be healthy to move blood around my body. My heart needs to work hard for me, even when I sleep. Blood is how my body moves many things it needs, such as oxygen and nutrients. It is also how my body moves around some of its waste. My heart doesn't make blood, but it does keep my blood moving. My heart is made mostly of muscle. Each time my heart muscle squeezes, it moves blood. My heart has four chambers. Two chambers are for blood coming in, and two are for blood going out. Blood goes into one chamber from my body. Blood goes out of a second chamber to my lungs. Blood goes into a third chamber from my lungs. Blood goes out of a fourth chamber to my body. Between the chambers are valves that act as gates. The valves open and close to keep the blood moving one way. My blood moves around my body in long tubes. Arteries are thick tubes that move blood away from my heart. 
My arteries are really strong. Veins are thin tubes that move blood to my heart. My veins are floppy compared to my arteries. Capillaries are tubes that join veins and arteries together. My capillaries are the smallest tubes that move blood around my body. My heart and blood help my body move some things it needs and some wastes. A healthy heart helps to keep my body healthy. Connections Writing Write a letter to a friend to explain how your heart works. Include facts from the book. Science and Art Draw a diagram of your heart. Label four important parts of your heart. My lungs Written by Rachel Rice Illustrated by Ramey Seymour Focus Question How do the lungs help your body get oxygen? My lungs are part of a system that keeps me alive. My lungs help my body get the oxygen it needs. Oxygen comes from the air I breathe. My lungs pull oxygen from the air with each breath. Each breath comes into my nose or mouth first. My nose and throat warm up and clean the air. Tiny hairs in my nose and throat do the cleaning. The air moves down my throat into my two lungs. It moves through tubes in my lungs that branch like trees. The tubes end in tiny sacs that look like bunches of grapes. The tiny sacs are like balloons. My lungs trade oxygen for carbon dioxide through the tiny balloons. Carbon dioxide is waste air. My body doesn't need carbon dioxide. My body sends carbon dioxide to my lungs in my blood. My blood drops off the carbon dioxide in the tiny balloons. Then my blood picks up the oxygen and moves it through my body. This trade happens with each breath. As I breathe in, my chest moves out. My body makes room for my lungs to fill with oxygen. As I breathe out, my chest moves back in. The carbon dioxide moves out 
of my lungs. I breathe all the time, but I don't think about it. I don't have to think about it. If I did have to think about it, I'd think of nothing else. I take about twenty-four breaths each minute when I'm resting. That's more than one thousand four hundred breaths each hour. I'm thankful that my lungs work so hard for me. Connections. Writing. Write a newspaper article about how the lungs work. Include facts from this book in your article. Math. How many breaths do you take in one minute? Work with three or four students. To make a bar graph, show how many breaths your group takes in one minute.